If I can have your attention for the next five to ten minutes, and, and you'll let me, I'd like to tell you a story. Uh, it actually is my, it's my life story, so me trying to build the confidence to, build, to, to, to say all this stuff is really kind of difficult. Although I've been telling people for a while now, I'm just making a video, but it's kind of different. Well, it kind of all started out when I was a baby. Uh, when I was about a year and a half years old, I was actually struck by lightning, and it, it land. I was in the porch, and then it landed, like, six inches in front of me. Boom! I don't remember it, but my grandma just told me about it, and my mom told me about it. And then the the, the way it kind of went down is, it sounded like I died. Uh, my grandma said I wasn't making any sounds. I was just laying there, and my then my and then my grandpa came out and apparently just went. She went in. He said, "Hey." And then I woke up, and I, I feel like I feel like that event was God choosing me to complete a mission. Uh, it's it happened. To, I don't know how to explain that necessarily. I feel like it was that 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 event was destiny that I get, or that that I should live at that property. Uh, because the, the entire area surrounding it and the the fact that I was raised there and I lived there for 20 years I feel like uh, the the possibilities of what I could achieve there inside of the inside of the the benefits from living at that property between the equipment and the the, the basic ba ba and the basic environment uh, I figure would be a tremendous benefit for what I would love what I'm trying to achieve and you could watch other videos for that anyways uh, going on to more of the story of my life we, the, the, that was the big event and I s I'm pretty sure everything in my life unfolded because of that lightning bolt and it was all of my ideas everything that happened in my life was just a direct descending of wait let me start over here it was a direct descending of or ascending, if you wanted to, of everything that unfolded in the later years in my life. And it, it was, uh, I did have a pretty rough childhood growing up. We'll get into that. Uh, for many years, 16 years, I was bullied. I was bullied for 16 years ever since preschool, that first couple of days of preschool. And you know what? Yeah, I moved around to a lot of schools, but it all started day one of preschool. We went under that little umbrella and then I farted. And it kind of sounds a little funny now, thinking about it, but growing up with... It was just that knowledge of the group of people that I farted, and it was just kind of just like, oh yeah, I just take away from him. And then me growing up like that, I kind of just always kept to myself. And uh, definitely brought a lot of problems. Good friendships and stuff. Well, I, I, I have my, my close friends nowadays, but it's very difficult for me to put myself in the new situations because of... Anyways... Uh, well, what I've been sort of trying to do for these past few years is get over it. You know, I can't believe that I I let my whole I can't believe well basically I let it get to me the the problems of life get you know, I let them get to me and then you know things went things went downhill. Yeah, uh, and now I am trying to. Build things towards a better, a better future. Oh, uh, going back to that, to that lightning bolt that that I previously mentioned. I believe that all of my ideas, and you can watch some of the, the one of the videos. I'll, I'll link it like right here, or whatever. If I learn, if I learn how to do that, you can watch that. And I mentioned some of my some of the thoughts and everything that comes out of my out of my ideas. And to be honest, I really do feel like it was the higher power, whoever that is, maybe, I don't want to use the word God or anything like that necessarily, but whoever, whoever struck me, and this was, this was the first time, I was struck by lightning three times, and I wasn't struck, I was never directly struck because, I don't know, maybe they don't want to, but three times you're struck, and boom, I remember me and my brother going for a quad ride, and all of a sudden, boom, right beside me, and then he looks at me, and he's like, you see that, and it's like, well, yeah, of course I've seen it, it was, it was pretty cool. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that that's where all of my motivation and all of my ideas came from. 
is the energy that came associated with that amount of voltage. Uh, so maybe this, I'm really hoping that this video, I don't know, my tone of voice is whatever, if you guys would be bored, but I really hope this video will kind of display a broader image as to how I look at things uh, and, and what motivates me because now I'm trying to, trying to get my life, uh, trying to get my life to do this and sure the past few years it kind of goes down a little bit you know you have your but I'm still going up and you know, sometimes you have your setbacks but I'm still I'm still really I'm still really I'm, anyways I'm trying to make a little pie graph or whatever visualization I'm still trying to get the best of everything I'm not I'm trying not to let this nonsense that happened in my past get to me and a lot of the times it weighs down on everything that I end up doing because it's always going to be with me for the rest of my life simply I don't know how to really get my point across too much but it would be nice to see some people in show some interest into some of the ideas or innovations I would like to do and not to mention it's the new year now I would love to see that and I don't want to do all of my ideas for me even though it would be cool a lot of the stuff that we could have something extra go do some of the stuff that we could potentially have have the access to do I'm not going to do it for myself though I would like to do it for the betterment of the entire human species and using the motivation that I feel like God chose me to do it that is kind of good enough to understand why I want to do it for the betterment of human species right the location of my grandpa it was my grandparents house they lived there for many years they lived there for many years before i was even born and uh getting then getting struck by lightning it really it really makes me feel like i'm destined to live there it feels like i'm supposed to be there not to mention my grandpa was kind of a hoarder uh all the gear that i could potentially build could bring upon new and new technologies to the future like all recycling i'm not the I'm not necessarily the smartest guy around. Definitely not. I, have, I make my mistakes. Everybody does. But you know, I do have the idea for innovations. I definitely have the idea for innovations uh, and new, new, n new potential ways of doing things. But I can't do that by myself. Uh, I really do need. I would like it. You know what? It is New Year's, guys. And uh, depending on how many people I'm even going to get to watch the first two minutes of this video, whether you guys are going to make it to make it to eight minutes or not, it kind of would be nice to see people interested in bringing a new form of way in into life. Saying saying that we New Year's and then oh everyone's going out to do whatever tonight and then we're just going to go back to doing the same thing tomorrow. Why do that? It is a new year. If you guys, I will work on a GoFundMe or like I don't want to say GoFundMe page, but yes. And if everybody could watch this, share it. Share this. It, it, it is a big project as to what I have to offer. My One, one of my friends always says, Oh, you always go off on different ideas. And yes, but it's kind of like... It's kind of like a pyramid or like a puzzle. And it's all one... It's all one piece. It's all one image. Uh, so it would be really nice... To, to get you guys interested in this too. It's, uh, I honestly don't believe that the project I would like to offer is possible without the support of every man, woman, and child on earth. And uh, that's, a big, that, that's a big gift to ask, but if you made it this far, why not take an extra? At the end of this video, like, subscribe, and share 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 on facebook pages share on your friends send them messages share this video because every second counts and you know what uh I, I would like to say let's start the new year as a new year new something new something and you know what here yeah, i'm gonna mention just for the last couple seconds of the video there's a big issue going on with the oil and gas industry. You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys, if you guys live in the cities, you guys want to drive in, you guys drive a vehicle, you guys know that there's a big issue going on right now. You guys made it this far to watch the video. Really, think about this. Some of the stuff that I have the information and the schematics for and designs, I don't know whether 
whether they're vi all viable or not, I'm pretty sure we could get out of the oil and gas. And with your help, we could probably do it this year. Very much. Thank you for watching. Happy New Year. Have a great day.